Hello everybody and um, welcome back to a new video. You may recall that like a while back I did this unboxing video of my panda, Phoebe. So today, I'm gonna be unboxing something new. No, sadly it's not a panda this time, but this. I have been looking for this family for ages. I was really hoping I was gonna get it for Christmas, but I didn't, so I just searched around in Whipcalls, well, a couple Whipcalls shops, but we couldn't find it anywhere, so we had to get it online. So, as you can see, it has Sylvanian families at the top, Koala family at the bottom, and uh, on the back of the box it has Sylvanian family is written yet again and some little cute animals and um, there yeah, uh, and it has this little thing that says over green mountains tucked away in the depths of the forest here we find the most beautiful place in the world Sylvanian village this is the home of the most tender-hearted friends in the whole world if you listen to the wind, you'll hear the happy chatter. Well, they're happy chatter. <laughs> so me. And um, it just has all this warning stuff. And How could I forget? Like, there's some trees and, of course, the family. And now, the moment you all have been waiting for, the unboxing itself. Now, like, I really want to do the unboxing off camera because unboxing stuff with a camera in one hand and with, well, just unboxing stuff with one hand is really hard and I don't have anyone to hold my camera for me. So I'm just going to do a quick transition and, like, unbox it off camera. Okay, here goes. So, um, the first family member I have to show off is the dad, who, I think his name's like Bruce or something, but I'm gonna call him Buster, like Buster Moon from Sing, cause why not? Oh yeah, and I'm also keeping their family name Moon, cause, yeah, that. So anyway, the dad has like, this cute little shirt on with a yellow button. And some green little pants. Later on in this video, I was thinking of making him a, a Buster Moon inspired outfit. But for now, I'm just gonna keep him in this little cute outfit. Now, the second member of the family that I have lined up is the mom. I've decided to call her Bonnie since, like, I can't remember her original name and to keep him with the B name thing of the family. So anyway, the mum, Bonnie, has this really cute little dress on, a little bow and an apron. I always love like the Sylvanian families, the mums and the daughters, I like the dresses they wear, they're so cute. Uh, she also has this little pouch on her back. You'll see why in a moment. Next up, we've got little Bella. I think her name's like Adelaide or something, but I've decided to call her Bella so I can still keep in like the theme, the little B theme thing of the family and because I like the name Bella. I know like traditionally Bella comes from like Isabella or Arabella, but I decided she's just going to be just Bella so it can still fit in with the theme. So anyway, Bella has this little cute little dress, yellow dress with a bow and some little ruffle stuff all around the neck. She also has like Velcro on the back, like the other two members of the family. I should have mentioned that before, but I didn't. So, um, okay, uh, let's get on to the last member of the family. 
And last, but certainly not least, there's Baby Blair. Just to note, it's spelled like B-L-A-I-R-E instead of just the regular one without the E. Um, I think her name is Addie. I don't know if it's, I think it might be short for Adelina, but I don't know. Or Adelina or something. But I've decided to call her Blair because the whole B name theme, blah blah blah. Um, I was debating between like Blair and Bindi as in like Bindi Allen, but I just thought, hmm, you know, I'm just gonna go with Blair. Anyway, I forgot to describe her outfit. <laughs> Ah, oh, such a dunderhead. Um, so she has this little ruffled dress that's got pink on it. Like it's pink underneath, and it's got pink straps and stuff. Now you may notice that Blair's in like a little seating position, and uh, that's why her mum has a pouch because, like in real life, koalas carry the babies around on their backs. I think they have pouches so the babies can develop, like, like kangaroos do. I'm not really sure, I haven't read anything about koalas in like a long time. I think I'd better show you guys like how she looks in the pouch because I bet you guys have only seen like a really brief glimpse of it. So since I'm not going to do it on camera because, well sorry I'm, I'm just not going to do it on camera because um I don't really have anyone to hold my camera up for me and just doing stuff one hand and makes it really messy. So, here's how it looks. Oh, so cute! Hmm. I wonder if Bella will be able to fit. And then one way to find out. Hmm. Huh. That was actually quite that easy. Okay, I'll just put the rest of the family over here. And as for you, mister, you're gonna get a whole new outfit. So my glue gun is finally warmed up enough. But I also have some even in thread, like just in case. Okay, let's get started. Oh, and by the way, I'm just going to be doing a lot more transitions because I don't want things too messy. Because just doing stuff on hand makes it look really messy and I don't want to screw this up. Now, all that's left to do is like unplug my phone and get a reference image up. Oh, and in case you're wondering why it's in a plastic bag, let's just say um, there was an incident with my knees. And I also messed up my phone. All right, so here we have, um, Buster in his full complete outfit. Oh, and in case you guys are all wondering why I'm in a different setting right now, uh, my mum and dad are watching the news currently and I figured it'd be pretty noisy and yeah. <laughs> so, um, well, I think what his ribbon, which is what his like, pants and suit are made of, was really, really hard. The ribbon's like keep unraveling and it's driving me crazy but overall I'm like really happy with how it turned out I think it's quite cool oh and um by the way in case you guys are wondering which you probably aren't this isn't my first Sylvanian family I have lots more in there but I'm probably gonna do like a full um I don't know, collection thing eventually. I do have some ideas for like other videos lined up, but it will be there, I promise. 
And I'm um, still gonna keep um, Buster's original outfit. Just to be kind of like a casual outfit when he's not working. Because, you know. So, that's all for this week's video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!